Hello everyone, so what I'd like to do is take some time to show how we arrive at the equation for a traveling wave. The equation for a traveling wave has a very specific combination of variables in it. It has kx minus omega t or kx plus omega t. And I just want to show where that comes from and why that makes for a traveling wave, right? Like why that makes a wave move. So the thing I want to start with is just a regular function. So uh, I'm going to call it moving a line in time. And I just want to see what happens when I try to make this line move in time, or how, how do I make this line move in time? So, so let's just think about first shifting functions, right? So what I want to do is I want to take this line and I want to shift it to the side. So maybe I'll just, uh, I'll copy it and I'll paste it and I'll shift it to the side some distance. Okay, and I'm gonna look at this position. I'm gonna shift it to some position to the side x naught. So what does my function look like? My function now looks like y is equal to m times x minus x naught, right? So that's how we shift stuff. Well, what if x naught changed in time? What if x naught was equal to v times t? Well, I now have a situation where this line that was just shifted before is now v times t. And in my function over here, instead of x naught, I have v times t. So what do I see? As t increases, the line moves to the right, right? As this, as this point gets bigger and bigger, this point moves that way. And it means that if I put this in the function, as t gets bigger and bigger, the whole line will move that way. Okay, so what we've done is been able to make this line move in time. So let's see how this works with the sine wave now. I start with dx, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna plot a sine wave. Okay, so there's some phase. Uh, what does kx tell us? Well, remember, kx gives us some information about the wavelength, so there's some wavelength here. Um, but this is just a graph, it's just staying there. It's not going anywhere. So what I wanna do is be able to make this thing move to the side, and how do I do that? Well, I do exactly what I did before. I'm gonna change x to x minus v times t, right? That's what we did before. To make the line move, we eventually made this substitution. Okay, so let's actually substitute this in up here. We get d of x and t, this is gonna be a function of two variables now, a sine k x minus vt plus phi, some phase shift. Well, let's just look at what, what we get here. So we get k times x minus kv times t plus phi. Well, what's k times v? Well, remember that the wave velocity is equal to omega over k. So k times v is actually omega. So I get for my equation for a traveling wave, this really standard thing that we see. And we see that it comes just from making this substitution into a normal wave that's standing still. And what do we see now? We see now that as we turn on time, right, this whole wave will move to the side altogether. The whole sine wave will just travel to the side. If we flip the sign, right, if we want to change the direction of the velocity, right, well, we, we can flip the sign here, and that makes it go the other direction. And flipping that sign just actually flips all these signs. And so we see if we want to make a wave go to the left, we have the same sign in front, a relative plus sign. And if we want to make it go to the right, we have a relative negative sign between them. So that's how you make the equation for a traveling wave.